It is regrettable that the majority leader has left the floor at this time. I'm going to have to hope that she can hear me from her office. This remote session, without the public in the building, is grossly inadequate. When I met with the Speaker of the House coming in as a freshman, going into the 2019 session, one of my points of concern was that, create, that we create the opportunity in this building for people who have to travel to be able to engage without disrupting their lives in a way that's authentic and valuable to this process. This remote session has allowed us to do that. It's a win in that way. The fact that people don't have to drive two, four, six, eight hours to tell us what they think is extraordinary. This should, in fact, be something that we preserve and hold on to as progress. It is not a substitute for actual in-person contributions by Oregonians. We'll have 50, 75, 200, 300 people signed up, and our committees will have the time and the capacity with technical problems, glitching chairs, people cutting in and out, people getting the wrong contact information, not knowing how to log in, not understanding the process. We'll get through a fraction of those citizens. Better than nothing, I will take it. But let's not confuse that with the high standard that we've maintained across our state for what citizen engagement in this body looks like. And oh, by the way, we're here. We're working every single day. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to do this work. But you do not get to control everything. You don't get to tell us how we engage in this process. Is this an inconvenience? Is it an inconvenience? I'm sorry. You don't get to control everything. If you want to be collaborative, I'm open to being collaborative. Let's have that conversation. Let's do that right away. But let's not fake it. I'm not here, we are not here, to facilitate the ease of the passage of someone else's agenda that harms my community and my state long term. And make no mistake, some of these proposals in committee absolutely do that. We have got to be able to find a way forward, to be able to work together, to learn the lessons of this pandemic, to be able to operate in a bipartisan fashion every single opportunity we have. But in the meantime, when the minority exercises the rights of the minority, it's considered a part of the process. And when that changes, it will be based on an intent from the majority to be collaborative and work with us in an authentic manner. Thank you, Madam Speaker.